we're adding bugs and uh, a lot of times what we have to do when we put a tank into service we actually take some of the rejected we call it was waste activated sludge from the bottom of the primary and inject it into these tanks to get that like a starter yeast going to get the, the bacteria working now we're kind of going backwards in the flow so first stage of secondary is aeration and uh, we'll see those tanks soon They'll, you'll see long narrow tanks uh, air being injected into it and then that discharge comes into these round clarifiers so this water is fairly clean it's uh, it's uh, about 90 98 percent clean it's uh, very clear and you'll see as we get to the aeration it's being agitated with the air and the bugs are very active and uh, it's very muddy looking but it's the same water it's just the bugs are getting dropped out no uh, these well we'll see one empty just around the corner but it's about 18 feet deep about two and a half million gallons and uh, again on well pretty much all our processes we have Floatables. So this arm here is actually picking up the floatables in our clarifiers. Then um, on the bottom, there's a, another seat on this one coming up. There's an arm that will actually pick up the solids and will run the pump. And, uh, it'll take the solids out, run it to the same place where we put primary solids and uh, put it in the digester. So again, this is the clarifier that we just rebuilt and painted and you can see the we call it a tow bro on the bottom on the far side it's like an inverted uh, funnel and it will and you see the little holes inside of it and that uh, mat of material will get a uh, sludge bike will get about three feet thick and uh, as it comes through it forces into those holes and then it goes right into a suction of a pump through the column there and uh, but it brings up a good point. Uh, what you're looking at, this entire plant, you're only seeing maybe a third of the plant. Uh, we have about two thirds of the plant, as far as usable area, underground. Every tank here, every tunnel, well, well, every access will have a tunnel where we can walk from one building to another underground. And uh, so these pumps and the, the pipes that go into that uh, column, run into a pump and there's a pump station right under us as we sit. And again like I say from that building over there to the filter building we can walk the entire plant underground. It's uh, some of the tunnels go 35 to 40 feet deep and the pipes going under the other pipes but we can do it. Where's the water table? Uh, about about nine feet, maybe a little bit less. So you have to insulate the walkway? We, uh, well, we, one of the, well, <laughs> one of the, clear, our secondary uh, aeration tanks, we drained it, like this tank here, and it actually started to float. We had to fill it back up with water. I guess I'm just wondering, if, you, if it's nine feet to water and you got a walkway that's 35 under, right? you, you must have had, it's an engineering thing to keep that thing dry. Well, as when, when you were building it, the question is, while you were building it, was it a, because we just run sheet piles, pump everything out, then you 